Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today is a special day. Uh, this is my first day of learning Swahili right here in Zanzibar. Um, this is a exciting day. Uh, so I want to thank, you know, all the partners and friends for standing with me. This is a key moment in the ministry for me to uh, start learning the language full time. Uh, I have a teacher, I'll be doing it three times a week. And the rest of the week I'll be uh, doing ministry um, throughout uh, my sector and everything. So this is a exciting time and language is key um, if you want to grow deeper with the people and reach the people in a greater way. Because I know uh, in America, I, you know, I, I evangelize everywhere and it's kind of difficult to evangelize everywhere without a translator. So this is uh, important for me uh, to know the language fully uh, so the, the ministry can go to a greater realm, uh, you know. So I just excited about that and I just reminded of in the book of Acts what Apostle Paul I think it was Acts chapter 22 when uh, they was trying to kill him and he motioned to the crowd on the stairs and he started to speak in their own language in Hebrew um, and they when they heard Apostle Paul speak they stopped and they listened to Apostle Paul uh, speaks even more clearly you know, closely so it shows you that people when you hear when you speak their own language uh, they they hear you more closely, and I know that for me, uh, they already because hear me more closely because I'm African American. But for me to now learn Swahili, uh, just to bring me to another realm in the ministry, uh, and the devil's going to be in trouble as well uh, when I learn this um, language fully. So just want to take you guys on a quick journey uh, throughout the day, uh, me learning Swahili. So stay tuned. God. What's up, everybody? I'm here, first day of learning Swahili. This is the school behind me. You can tell right there. Um, this is the building. Uh, I'll be learning uh, the first week here um, at the school. Then I'll be homeschooled. Uh, they'll be coming to where I, I live. So I've never been homeschooled before, but hey, it's the first time for everything. Uh, so yeah, I'll be learning Swahili here for a week or so. Then, I, then I'll be learning from my home. All right, guys, this is the classroom. This is the tools I'll be using. And yeah, so this is it. Real fast. Here. Or. <laughs> so I'm very excited. Huyu ni Simba. Huyu ni Simba. Huyu ni Simba. Huyu ni Mbuzi. Huyu ni Mbuzi. Huyu ni ngombe. Huyu ni ngombe. Huyu ni twiga. Huyu ni pundamilia. Huyu ni nguruwe. Huyu ni nguruwe. Huyu ni kifaru. Huyu ni kifaru. Huyu ni farasi. Huyu ni farasi. Huyu ni tembo. Huyu ni tembo. Huyu ni mnyama. Huyu ni mnyama. Hawa ni wanyama. Hawa ni wanyama. Huyu ni samaki. Hey, what's up everyone? Just finished day one of my key Swahili classes here. Um, do not have a headache, uh, thank God. Uh, been here in Swahili for the past four to five months. So now I'm you know, learning uh, the language here. It's kind of coming more easy than last year when I took a one month class. So it's been a joy. And I'll be here again tomorrow and Wednesday. Um, so three days a week I'll be doing it. Then the rest of the week uh, be in ministry. And so slowly, slowly I learned the language. Just thank you to everyone that's standing with me. Um, once I learn this language, it's gonna be another open door, another level, like I mentioned. And yeah, God is faithful. God is challenging me to go to another level and learning the language and getting more deeper and just the relationships here and where I'm at. And so just stay tuned for more.